You've all heard about the recent Rotherham case. There's a lot to be said about the Rotherham trial verdict today. So I'm going to share a few thoughts of mine with you. Firstly, I would like to congratulate the judge and the jury who doled out an impressive and a necessary sentence which reflects the severity of the crime which these abusers got away with for such a long, long time. Sentences such as these, I think, would act as a deterrent to the would-be abuser. So I hope other judges follow suit and come down equally as hard on other abusers. I would also like to pay tribute to the victims and their families. Not only did they show a phenomenal amount of courage for coming forward, but they also faced these traumatic times in an extremely dignified way. It is because of their strength and bravery that this inhuman and gruesome acts of evil sexual abuse gang was exposed. Now let's not shy away from asking the hard questions. What about the groups of sexual abusers? There are many people to blame for the horrors inflicted on these children. The rapists, of course, are top of the list. However, there are other factors that need to be confronted. One, what about the police and the council and the social workers who aided and abetted the scum and the overly politically correct individuals who blocked it from the media for so many years. Some may take offense from me using the words aided and abetted, but anyone, anyone who ignored the cries for help from these children, the warning signs should equally be punished by the law because they were part of the problem. Number two, the Pakistani Muslim community must not bury their heads in the sand over child sexual exploitation. The harsh reality is that there is an overrepresentation of Pakistani men in grooming gangs. Until we stop shying away from this fact, this problem will not go away. There is an obvious concerted effort by a minority of Pakistani Muslim men who thinks it's acceptable to groom, rape and pimp out young girls. Those who are concerned with coming across as racist for pointing out the ethnic background and the nationality of these abusers are ignoring the racism and abuse carried out by these individuals. It's despicable and it's their own actions, not you bringing shame upon their community. The media, they should report these crimes and the perpetrators as they are, give a true reflection of the issues that we are facing in the UK today. When English football hooligans destroyed cities across other countries throughout the 70s and 80s, they weren't referred to as European hooligans. They were referred to by their country of origin. They were called English hooligans. The media must stop using blanket terms to describe the abusers. Call a spade a spade. If it's Pakistani Muslims carrying out these heinous crimes, then that is what they should say. And lastly, the authorities, the media, and all us, the general public, should work together to root out this evil so our kids are safe on the streets of the UK. May God bless you all. Be aware. Be prepared and stay safe.